So imagine you want to write something on a piece of paper, but you don't want anyone reading what you wrote. How about a secret code that you can use so nobody ever can read what you have to hide? You can share secret messages with friends or family that only you can comprehend. Well, that's exactly what I did about four years ago. And although it wasn't the best code because it was my first time trying, so it was kind of easy to cipher, and it was just not very professional. But I continued making such writing systems and I got better at it over time. In this video, I'm going to cover what exactly is a writing system and how to make one. First of all, don't confuse writing systems with conlangs. A writing system is not a language. This text is in English, but it doesn't use English alphabet. And when you read it, you'll be speaking English. It's just written differently. So, sounds great, but where to start? Now let's show you one that I made. This is Amex. This is the main secret code that I made. But I'm not going to explain Amex in this video, cause it'll no longer be a secret, obviously. So how about we create a new one right now? So let me emphasize here that the steps that I'm going to present to you now are not the only way to create a writing system. Of course, you can go outside the box and do anything. But this is the way that I think is the most practical to make a writing system. So let's get into the steps of making the writing system. First of all, choose the language that you'll write in. Is it English, Arabic, or French? It matters because you will make the decisions based on the language that you're going to use. So for example, the language is alphabet or sounds. I think I'll choose Arabic for this one. Now, before we get into the fun stuff, we gotta decide the purpose of our writing system. What is the goal of that writing system? If you just want to make a simple writing system, that's fine, of course, but you can make one for other purposes, like one that saves space so you can write more in less paper, or one that is intended to look beautiful for artistic purposes. It's totally up to you. Maybe you want to make one for maybe cheating on an exam. No, seriously, don't do it. Cheating is bad. So in my writing system, I think I want to make it look like scribbles and not text so that people don't even know that something is written in there. They'll just think I was drawing something. Now think about the writing material. If it's a pen and a paper, you'll be able to draw curves easily. Compare that to wood carving, where rigid lines are encouraged but round shapes are very time consuming and just difficult. Or maybe your writing system is typed on a computer screen. Here, you'll be able to easily add colors, sizes, opacity, and much more. Actually, maybe you don't even want to write it. You can make a writing system literally out of types of cheese, or entirely made out of the combinations of tools in your pencil case. As long as people can understand it and you can understand what's written or whatever, it's fine. It works. So I'll go with the basic paper and pen. Now you might say, cool, now can we start drawing the alphabet? No, 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 not yet. First, we gotta add some interesting features. Think of some rules that make your writing system unique. There are types of writing systems. There are alphabets, and alphabets use a glyph for each sound, just like English. But that's not the only way to write, you know. There are also abogidas. Um, in abogidas, only consonants get a glyph, and vowels are just extensions or modifiers on consonants. This could work well with writing systems that have a lot of vowels. Now, I'm not gonna go over all the types, but here's an interesting one. Logographs. Logographs are not letters, but each word or each meaning has its own symbol. 
So imagine you trying to make a symbol for every single word. It's really hard. I tried to make it, but I'm not done yet. And I'm not sure if I'm going to ever finish it. I mean, it's really hard. But Chinese has a logographic writing system. Now, as I said, think outside the box. Don't just do the usual. Okay, here's some interesting ideas. For example, you can make two sets of letters and make one set have larger glyphs with holes in them so you can fit a smaller letter in it. That's pretty cool, I think. Or if you want something complicated, you can make multiple variations of the same letter and each variation is used depending on its position in a word. For example, like first, middle, or last. So that means if it comes first, you use that symbol. If it comes in the middle, you use that symbol. If it comes last, you use that symbol. You can make it as complex or as simple as you want. Okay, now enough of that. Let's get into the fun stuff. Designing the symbols. Now, I personally recommend designing all characters, then assigning each to a letter. I believe that this method is much, much better than designing letters one by one. So for example, I make the letter A, I design a character, then B, I make a character, then C, I make a character. I don't think this is a really good idea. Also, make sure you give the most used characters the simplest symbols so you don't take much time writing them. So I think a common question would be, Based on what do I make the symbols? Well, you could make them random, but also try to make them distinct and related. Or you could make a rule for creating the letters. Something like this. And once you're done, keep changing and updating and fix the mistakes until the result is a complete writing system. Keep iterating. It takes weeks to months. And there we go. I made my writing system. And I'm going to call it uh, drum roll scribbles. That's a really cliche name. I don't know. That's the best I got. I'm sorry. So scribbles it is. Go make your own now. If you want to check it out, um, it's in the description if you're watching from YouTube. I made a document explaining it, so do it, go learn it, I made it.